So now we come on to quadripolar psychology. Now this quadripolar are these four spheres. The point, the line, the movement, the surface, you know, the faces, and then the vision, sense of vision, the sense of being an avatar, of being the driver. So these four centers are here on this structure. So I'm just going to concentrate on these four centers now. So again, this is the structure of our minds, the structure of our minds, and this is contained within the whole structure, just isolating those four. So at the top, we have these four, four structures are defined or originate from the four transcendental numbers, which somehow are the structure, you know, our, our reality, just like they are a functional part of our description and scientific descriptions of reality. So our minds originate from them, not surprising, intuitively. So first of all, we have I, the square root of minus one, which is the superposition, the imagination. Now this fear gives us mania, which is words and actions, lots of words, lots of actions. You know, this is realm of ideas. Here we have pi, which is movement. The further we move from the center, so we create that circle, which is pi. So it's the movement, following that movement. Remember this is a sphere to do with seeing movements. This is the left hemisphere. Paranoia, paranoia, actions, conscience, consequences of actions, paranoia that will be con consequences to your actions, paranoia creating actions, unnecessary actions. So the rule with paranoia is don't do anything, just do what is necessary, don't start doing things because that is what causes the trouble. Here we have phi, the golden section, the gold portion harmony, the heart, and this is associated with depression, neither words nor actions. And then we have E, the exponential, faces, surfaces, relationships. This is the right hemisphere, schizophrenia, you know, voices, words, in these relationships. So, the, so we have schizophrenia related to words, paranoia related to actions, the heart related to neither words nor actions, our depression, and then mania related to words and actions. So we have these four dimensions, four corners of our minds. Now, uh, in therapy, in counselling, you know, or seeing the consequences of actions and behaviour is CBT, and then the relationship there with the therapist is REBT, and then dealing with the other one is switching from the actions to the voices. So you, you come down to connect actions with voices in relationships so and get out of the manic depression. So it's very doubtful that any medication would be effective in dealing with any imbalance in this quadripolar psychology. This is why counselling EMDR, CBT and REBTF are effective. But we need to have a coordinated structure of psychology and as I said this is part of the whole structure.